I'm going to send an AC signal through each one of these components one at a time starting with the resistor at the left at 3500 ohm resistor then through the coil in the center its DC resistance is only one and a half ohms and then on the right through the dot zero two two microfarad capacitor and its DC resistance is infinite. I'm going to be using a signal generator and an oscilloscope. The circuit is going to consist of a 3500 ohm resistor and a 100 ohm resistor to ground and the components are going to be connected between these two resistors. The oscilloscope is going to be connected this way with channel 1 and the signal generator on the left side of the 3500 ohm resistor. Channel 2 is going to be hooked up to the right side of the 3500 ohm resistor and the first connection is going to be to our test resistor our component 3500 ohm resistor like this and then I'm going to vary the frequency then I'm going to connect those leads to the coil and vary the frequency and then the capacitor and again varying the frequency to see what happens to the impedance of each one of those components. Okay here's the setup. There's our 3500 ohm resistor or coil and our dot 022 microfarad capacitor and here's our circuit so now I'm going to hook up the resistor and of course we'll see that channel 2 is a little lower in amplitude but when I change the frequency the level stays pretty much the same and or varies with the generator okay now I'm going to hook up the coil and we'll do the same thing. Vary the frequency and see what happens. Okay. Now you can see that it's a little bit lower already. But watch what happens when I change the frequency. That level is higher than that 3500 ohm resistor. So at the higher frequency, that coil has a higher impedance than that 3500 ohm resistor. Okay, now for the capacitor. Okay, pretty high level. Now I'll increase the frequency again. 
Notice that this time though, the impedance of the capacitor is getting much less. It's almost a direct short now. I'm going to run this again, but this time with the wiring diagram. So now I'm going to hook up the resistor and of course we'll see that channel 2 is a little lower in amplitude, but when I change the frequency, the level stays pretty much the same and or varies with the generator. Okay. Now I'm going to hook up the coil and we'll do the same thing. Vary the frequency and see what happens. Okay. Now you can see that it's a little bit lower already. But watch what happens when I change the frequency. that level is higher than that 3500 ohm resistor so at the higher frequency that coil has a higher impedance than that 3500 ohm resistor okay now for the capacitor Okay, pretty high level. Now I'll increase the frequency again. Notice that this time though, the impedance of the capacitor is getting much less. It's almost a direct short now. In this experiment, we saw that when we had the 3500 ohm resistor in the circuit and varied the frequency from low to high, not much happened. The level stayed just about the same. But when we hooked up the coil, the level was lower than the resistor, but when we increased the frequency as high as it would go, then the impedance was higher than the 3500 ohm resistor. Next was the capacitor. At the lower frequency, the impedance was fairly high, but when we increased the frequency to maximum, 
it turned out that the impedance was just about a direct short. You can also download these last results by clicking on the links in the show more of this video. Thanks for watching.